What up, YouTubers and Rector players? Welcome back to Dennis Fleeman's YouTube channel. Today, I got a very special thrift store hunting video for you guys. I'm gonna check out an American Salvation Army. Let's go. Hunting in thrift store slash Kringlo Winkles part 20, yeah. and we're in the United States of America. Gosh, this feels unreal. Let's start by uh, walking around in the store. Hey, check this out, guys. Some turtle pants. I wonder if it fits me. If I would wear this, I would get some instant swag. Check it out. Board games. Seems a bit strange to see them in the clothing section, but um, alright. Mousetrap. Love that game. This is the modern version. I prefer the classic one. And we have some other board games here, but sadly, no Hero Quest. Hmm. Let's see what else they got. Let's move on to the video games. And where are the video games? Together with all the VHS tapes, DVDs, Blu-rays and other stuff. Let's see what we can find here. Hmm. A Blu-ray. A lost Blu-ray. Hold your horses, guys. Hold your horses. You know, I'm a big video game fan, a retro video game fan, but I'm also a fine art lover. And what do we see here? A lot of fine art. Hmm, check this out. Fascinating. For some awkward reason or another, there are a lot of signed and numbered prints here. I've never seen that much together. Hmm. Well, they won't fit in my suitcase, but this small one of the London Bridge? That goes with me. Let's, uh, let's get back to the video games. Or the VHS tapes. Um, let's see. Let hey, hey, hey. What do we have here? True power? Turtle power indeed, Turtles Free, not to be confused with Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo. Turtles Free is the best of the series, loaded with great action, humor and family oriented fun. Wh what? What? That's false advertising right there. That BS hits my brain so hard that I'm, that I'm about to go numb. Quickly, let's get over to the video game section. Skylanders. Some poker game. Oh god. Oh god. I got a bad feeling about this. Okay. I think this has been picked through already, but let's see. Some baseball game. Oh god. Oh well, wait a minute. Atari Atology? Hey, this 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 doesn't look that bad. Hmm. Well, four dollars. Or three dollars. I picked it up, wanted to pick that up, but guess what happened? I forgot about it and I left it in the store. Dumbass. I don't even know if I can play American PlayStation 2 games on my European console, but uh, hmm, there might be some hack around that. Let's see what they got here. Sport games, sport games, sport games. Oh, MB Alive. I got the one for the Xbox 360. That one's pretty cool with all the achievements and uh, and all that. Some Skylander Giants and... Uh, nope, not getting lucky with the video games in this store. Time to move on. Merry Christmas sing-along favorites? Uh, that's a bit early, it's August. Happy Tales Thrift Shop. I don't know if I've told this before, but I'm a big coffee junkie, so these big giant mocks appeal to me. Let's move on. VHS movie tapes. Most people consider this junk nowadays, but don't be fooled. We're in America, and some of the American Disney tapes, depending on the release dates, can be quite valuable. The same goes for horror movies. Obscure horror movies, they're pricey. This is Mario is Missing in book form. No, it's not, but... Uh. A 
Alright, before we get over to the video game section, where I'm going to pick up some nice Super Nintendo games, I'm going to check out some shirts. And there are two reasons for this. First of all, these shirts are very cheap in America, but very expensive in Europe. I'm talking about the NFL shirts, NBA shirts, National Hockey League shirts, all of them. And there is a double-edged sword here. Wow! Well, we see a Dead Space 2 shirt. Yeah. Wow. Um, um, we're buying some uh, local jerseys, some local football jerseys, because we don't want to stand out as tourists. So we're buying some uh, Cleveland Brown shirts, so we don't stick out for our safety. And we got some nice souvenirs. Let's... Uh, Oh, wow, Disney! Mm, my buddies. Let's uh, let's get over to those video games. <laughs> let's move over to the first counter. DVDs behind glass. Why? And a PlayStation Portable movie, UMD movie. It's called, I believe. Not really interested in that. Let's check out the second counter. Here we go, Super Nintendo games, Sega Genesis games, and PlayStation 2 games. Most of these Super Nintendo games are sports games, but I don't care for two or three dollars a piece. And there are some interesting titles in this lot. I will show you which games I picked up at the end of the video. Super Tennis, no, Pilot Wings, oh. Championship Pool, Woo. Michael Jackson for the Wii, no, 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 no. Ah, the force is strong with this pillow, but not five dollars strong. Ah! I really don't like the modern turtles, the cartoons, the clothings, and collectible, collectible my ass. Ah, bubble head. Oh, one of my soft spots. I'm really into bubble heads. I like them. Don't know who this guy is. What is he? Is he baseball or American footballer? Surfing size more limited edition bubble head. I must buy this. Nine dollars. Ah, here we go. In the bag. Unicorn! <laughs> and a Superman bag with a green tag. The tags are a thing. On some days you get 50% off depending on the tag. There are blue tags, green tags, yellow tags, and this one is four dollars. 50% discount. Only two dollars for a nice bag. I'll pick that up for my son. We're almost at the end of the video and before I sign off and show you guys what I picked up, I need your help. What is this? I grow resident life? I want up resident life? What? Residence? Uh, huh? I don't know. Let me know in the comments.